Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel yet again. So, you are a tarot reader, maybe just beginning to read cards, understand the meanings, everything is so confusing, and you have many doubts in yourself, about yourself, about cards, and sometimes it looks like a loop that you are closed in and you just can't get out, you just don't know what to do anymore, how to fix this. So this video, I think it's going to be really helpful if you listen, to the mistakes that I have noticed for especially the beginner tarot readers that they make. And if you don't spot them, if you don't fix them just right away, your journey of learning tarot can become way more difficult. And actually those mistakes, they stay with you and it can really influence your uh, overall tarot style reading and your journey and so on and make it more complicated. So I am here to help you to clear out those doubts and just to share my personal tips because at the end, you know, tarot is a journey. You take it, what is in here for you, you leave the rest behind like always. It's such a personal thing. So you can't take my words for granted as well because maybe your path is going to be way different and you're gonna learn and find out absolutely different things but this is just my vision um, because recently I also was helping some people some beginner tarot reading readers to um, develop their skills further especially to the professional business-like mindset and um, I have noticed these things kind of repeating in all of them so I thought like okay I'm gonna make this video so the others the rest of you that are wondering so what what is it in there for tarot? Why is this not just happening for me? What mistakes I'm making? It could be really, really useful. So I have five main tips that we are going to cover in this short video. And they are the main ones that I have noticed right away from the beginner tarot readers. So let's start with the first one. And it is expecting the right answer. So let's say you take your cards. I have a deck here. Okay, you ask a question and then you kind of deep inside want to expect the the answer that you hope for. Okay, so it's like so it's like for instance asking um, how is it gonna go with this person? Maybe what do I need to know about this person in regards of me? And you kind of expect, for instance, something very positive, beautiful cards, and then you open them. Let me find just some examples so I can give you. For instance, you get, I don't know, let's see, something like this. Okay, let's say you get eight of eight of swords maybe you get ten of swords and maybe you get i don't know something like death card <laughs> okay i know this is such, such an extreme uh, example but yes sometimes sometimes this happens and then uh, you feel so down so let down you kind of feel like my goodness this is horrible what's gonna happen with us this is not what i wished for it seems like everything is going nicely and then these cards and then you feel so discouraged and you just really feel like not even speaking with that person anymore or you're just doubting yourself as a reader how could i pick up those cards like why they came for me so here um the main thing i want to say and the main aspect of this point is don't expect anything don't don't expect positive cards don't expect negative cards don't expect anything be as neutral as possible and also even if you get let's say those negative cards regarding the relationship i want you to know i want you to understand that this is just tarot cards those are just images and it doesn't have to affect your affection to that person or it doesn't have to affect your relationship with tarot cards just just because you've got those kind of darker cards because many times what they what they mean is actually that maybe you're just skipping some things in this relationship maybe you're just skipping something about yourself maybe you have some past traumas that are coming back into this reading and that's why you know you have asked one question but then the cards kind of show you that you know there is a deep deep program somewhere else somewhere deeper and maybe you're not noticing that so i wouldn't take for granted everything that is on cards and base my decisions my life decisions on what i see from the cards it could be a good reflection point maybe yes maybe i'm 
idealizing this relationship and these three cards pop out and they kind of remind me you know what maybe you're idealizing and this person that you see in, that you're seeing right now and so on <clears throat> maybe it's not the person that perfect that image perfect that you are betraying in your head and maybe you have to open real eyes and see his or her flaws and positives the same way and not just uh, try to see everything like through the pink sunglasses okay so it's like a wake-up call it doesn't mean that the relationship is over it maybe means that you are looking into the person the wrong way or maybe some past things are coming there so don't let the cards to discourage you take them as a note reflect meditate over the messages and feel you know what your heart tells you so you see those cards and maybe you feel like you know what I always felt that there was something off with this person and now these cards pop out maybe I was right maybe my intuition was right but I was neglecting it because I wanted so badly this to work so could be many many different things so don't expect the right answer or the answer that you hope for number one okay number two is reading the tarot answer the way you hope for and not the way it is. So for example, let's take these cards as an example. Again, I'm just improvising right now. So it's a hermit, it's nine of swords and it's seven of pentacles. And maybe you are having, I don't know, let's say anxiety issues. And then uh, you get these cards where they clearly show like slowing down time, they show anxiety, they show solitude, loneliness. And then you see these cards and you feel like, Oh, but it's so nice to be in the hermit's mode. It's so nice not to sleep during the nights because it's so romantic. I can think about so many things and you don't see the real issue that there is nothing romantic. There is nothing uh, beautiful about anxiety. There is nothing nice about solitude, let's say for you at this time, at this point of your life, but you kind of see them, although they clearly show that, yes, there is something wrong. There is a waiting period and there is something you really have to change and maybe you have to fix with yourself but still you kind of say oh no but this is who I am this is my personality this is how I have to um, be in this life and my anxiety is really helping me and I'm so unique maybe because when I'm alone when I'm at night not sleeping I get those marvelous ideas so you kind of misinterpret the cards and many times you just really um, hope for the solution in the cards that they're gonna show you what to do instead of what you have to reflect on so many times people ask so what shall I do shall I uh, quit this job or not so they expect the cards to say yes yes quit the job because you are meant for something bigger for bigger money and so on and the cards clearly show that no stay here stay here because it gives you stability it gives you um, some kind of recognition there are possibilities for you in here and so on definitely cards are just cards I'm repeating again cards are just cards you have to really think about your personal situation if you're feeling really down maybe your bullet at your work there is of course a need to change but if you feel that your work is stable your work is good it pays your bills you're overly quite okay happy but somehow you got the idea that you have to go I don't know somewhere absolutely different leave everything break everything and start from the beginning maybe it's just your mind playing around and cards are telling you stop reflect wait it's not that bad as it looks like so again you could be disappointed because the cards are going to show you stay here don't move anywhere and you would hope you know to, to for cards to say go follow your dreams or you're gonna become the happiest person the richest person in your life because reality many times is not like this so be as neutral as possible when reading the answer of the cards as well reflect it through your own personal prism as well it's not that it's set on stone like what the cards say it's sacred and you have to follow but it's also what you hope for is not sacred sacred and you have to follow our dreams many times betray us as well and cards are really nice like reality check that helps us to find uh, you know the balance and the real view of the situation okay so number three number three is getting scared and confused so let's say you get again those dark cards let me show you how they look like so you've got these cards okay wow so scary looking dark death <laughs> skeletons swords everywhere 
almost sticked into you and everything is so dark and and bad and you look at these cuts and they terrify you and you feel like my goodness i'm gonna die i'm gonna be stabbed i'm gonna end this life just right here everything is miserable everything is so dark and i'm just falling more down and down and down into the hell so there is no way out for me and then you get so scared that the cards affect you so much that you actually don't sleep your mood changes you get really confused you become um really um manipulated by the cards as well because you see those cards and if you're a beginner they might be looking scary especially if you're a more sensitive person or especially if you're a person who tends to believe a lot what you see and don't doubt what you see actually and look for reasons behind this and maybe from the first glance you see those cards and you say oh this is gonna end very very bad and then you kind of get confused and you really get your reality and your everyday affected by the cards and again the third time saying those are only cards those are only cards they just send you deep messages some red flags but that's it it doesn't necessarily means that this is going to be like a bad ending of something okay um don't look at this way don't get scared those are just images. There are so many terrifying images in our everyday life that we experience. And those are just cuts. So if you got those cuts, for instance, I would say, oh, okay, looks like there is something like dark places around me. How can I fix them? Um, because cards, many times, they don't show you bad things. They show you things you have to fix. They show you things that need to be improved. They show you things that you are not seeing. Maybe you're running away from those things, expecting the good, expecting the positive expecting the smiles while the reality has its shadows it has its dark places as well that we need to go into and fix them so for me this reading would be like a very brave reading yes i have to go into my darkest corner of mind of self of relationship of work whatever it is and get that root that bad rotten root out this is how i see and this is what the cards would be telling you go there and finish it transform it death is always transformation you go you take out what's the bad what's rooted deep and rotten you take it out you fix it you transform it but don't let this to affect you this is only cards those are only cards they can't affect your life and you can't be scared you know <laughs> walking outside your house thinking that your life is gonna end this day don't give that much sense to the cards and to the scary image in your mind because this is your misconception if you see death it doesn't mean death it means transformation it means changing something into good changing something old into new good and this is in your hands remember that every single time you read cards all information is in your hands all actions are in your hands not in hands of tarot and now it leads us to the fourth point which is very similar to what we have just spoken about is giving the power to the cards and not your interpretation so like like let's say okay let's take those cards again because it looks like they're really working for all the examples that they have in my head you have those cards so you kind of let them to affect you you let them to bring you down you let them to doubt in yourself you let them to bring you the anxiety and this is what you don't need to do don't give power to the cards don't cards are just tools are just images that help you to find the key to the unlocked door but the key you have to pick it up yourself go to that door unlock it and go through the door and take your experience from what's behind but it's not in the cards your future is not read, written in the cards your future is not set in cards don't give this power to the cards because at the end it's not only about cards it's like giving power to anything in this life like you see some i don't know like dark crows like black crows flying around and you like assumed as if it was a bad symbol or a black cat crossing your path or something happens you know astrologically and you believe so much in it that it actually changes your life it makes you scared and you lose your power of self to the tools never give your own willpower your own power to the tools they are just tools that are helping you so see cards as your helpers as your therapy but not your executor or not your 
I don't know, like your worst enemy ever showing you the information or bad events that are going to happen. This is the power you don't want to lose. And I'm not only speaking about cards, but anything and anyone in this life. No people, no things, no events in your life can take your power away from you. They are your tools, your helpers, your red flags, but that's it. And then number five is uh, doubting what you have learned. So you read the answer, you read your interpretation, you interpret cards, and then you start doubting. And like you're feeling, I don't know if I understood them correctly. I don't know if this is the right way to read them. I don't know if this thought that comes after reading the cards is correct. And this kind of self-doubt comes a little bit from not trusting yourself with your skills. Let me tell you, since the day number one you pick up cards, you are already skilled in reading cards. Your experience only can grow, your interpretations can only get deeper, can only get better, but from the day number one you're already accurate. And let me tell you why. Because cards, cards is a tool for intuition, it's a tool for uh, self-growth, okay? Um, so the first thought that comes in when you read the cards, the first thought is always right. Like you see, I don't know, like you see these cards for instance, and you feel like, is it a person? Is it an opportunity? Is it a positive outcome? You feel like, oh yes, everything looks nice because maybe you're doubting about your job and you feel like, I don't know why I doubt so much about this new job. Was it the right decision? You get these cards, okay? And then you feel like, oh, it looks nice actually, but it's too good to be true. Uh, it shouldn't be happening to me. Maybe it's not that good as it looks like. And you start doubting them and then you start analyzing symbols in the cards and looking for negatives in there and looking for some kind of hidden information, thinking like, no, but it should be a mistake. It should be something wrong. So you doubt your experience. You doubt what you are learning. You doubt what you take from the cards. And this is, I think, one of the main reasons why you are not progressing with your tarot reading because you start doubting everything like you don't trust yourself in card reading and this actually could be reflected in every single situation in your life maybe you are in general a really doubtful person maybe you have low self-esteem and everything you do you doubt and question and second question again and again all over again and this again cards is such a nice soul's mirror if you start doubting cards that means that you're many times doubting other things in your life as well and it's helping you to heal it's helping you to grow that in in confidence as well because the cards are like showing okay go on it's positive the sun card the page of wands they're like really nice symbols moving forward moving into the future those are bright cards and actually they are teaching you that self-esteem they're teaching you that confidence not to be only confident in tarot cards but also to be more confident in your everyday life so if you're doubting your new job maybe what i would be taking from these cards they're really encouraging me they would be telling me you know what go next day and show what you're worth of it show what you can do show your peers that you are amazing co-worker show your bosses that you are amazing employee and just be happy of what you are doing don't doubt it take the most you can from your job and this is kind of the advice and this is an invitation from the cards to you so don't doubt what you have learned and don't think that you need to um, improve and learn more and make yourself like a guru and be obsessed of becoming a master of tarot because I'm telling you since day number one your intuition is already working what you can do with time is to train it further and you're gonna become more and more aware and faster with tarot cards but don't ever doubt anything if, even if you're a beginner and you feel like oh but I have so little things um, that I know I need to open up this realm way way more way wider and that's true it's a beautiful journey tarot is a very deep and very wide tool that is going to eventually open up to you you're gonna open it because it is in your hands like always but remember trust yourself trust your first thought your intuition it is working since day number one since the moment you take cards in your hands so those were the five advices for the beginner tarot readers mistake 
topics. I hope it was helpful. Let me know um, if you would like to see more videos like this. I enjoy filming them a lot because I really think it can help people to uh, grow in their tarot journey and make it more natural, more holistic approach to tarot and move away from this whole woo-woo thing of tarot which definitely <laughs> I don't believe in and I don't want you to believe in as well because it takes power away from you and the power is here. You are the powerful one and the tarot cards are your tools to self-growth, self-meditation and self-discovery. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.